I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plate. I have my husband Thomas here. Today we are going to show you how to make our homemade guacamole. Guacamole. <laughs> That's how I call it. All right, we're going to show you how we make our homemade guacamole. Yep. So what are we going to be using today? Well, as the main ingredient, we'll be using the avocado. So we have four avocados. And they're yes, small they are. avocado. Yep. We have jalapeno pepper, tomato. Okay. We have jalapenos, <laughs> tomatoes, half an onion. I don't know how much garlic I'm going to put in there yet. You have an idea? Not yet. Maybe okay. too close. And we have some cilantro. And y'all, when you get cilantro, mm. Mm, smells good. It smells good. Get the freshest stuff you can find. Salt and pepper. And we have a lime. Did you get the tomato? Yeah, I think and I got tomato. the tomato. All right, y'all, we're going to show you how we put it all together. All right, so on the avocado, all you're doing is just going around the big seed. And it opens up like that. Oh, see, that one's all nice and loose. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And then I'll take the spoon. Dig it out. So I guess you're going to do the onion since you're better at it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and cut the onion while he's finishing up the avocados there. Now we're looking for almost a mince. So I've got half an onion here. I'm just going to peel off the outer layer. Cut that in half to work with. <laughs> then I'm just going to cut thin layers. Cut them from there. Little dices. Now while she's doing that, I like to kind of pre-mash my avocados. Take a little bit of time. Yep. Alright, so we've got all, all right. my onions nice and diced here. It's looking good. Look at that. Alright. We're going to take our little bench scraper here and add it in. Yay! Yay! Alright. Now, you want me to do the tomato? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, do, the I'll tomato. do the jalapeno. He said he's going to do the jalapeno. All right. So he's going to take the stems and the seeds out of the jalapeno. What? And I'm going to dice this tomato very tiny, just kind of like I did the onions. You heard me. <laughs> I like... <laughs> no. All right, y'all. So with your tomato... You want to make like a grate, okay? You want to go down three quarters of the way through your tomato, kind of like you do an onion, all right? So I did about six slices, and then you're going to turn it, and then you're going to go back, and now hold it all closed so you don't lose control of your tomato, okay? And watch your fingers. And watch your fingers. And then you want to go down three quarters of the way this way, just like that, about the same amount of times that you did the other way, just like that. A nice sharp knife will help too, y'all. All right, then you want to turn it on its side, Hold it all together and then just go down very carefully and look at all those dices. Just like that right there. How about I keep the seeds of the jalapeno in half of it? Okay. I like some heat. All right. I mean, if you take the seeds out of this, you might as well be dealing with a bell pepper. All right. Does that look good to yep, you? Yep. Look good to me. All right. We're going to go and use our bench scraper again. Pull it all up. And into our bowl. About the onion peel there. Oh, I like that part. <laughs> no onion peel in there. All right, he's going to go ahead and show us how he's going to take care of this jalapeno. Let's see if I can do this without killing myself. Eh? Please. All right, so normally I would leave all this in. Oh, that's. So spicy. You know, the level of the heat will just depend on what you put in there. <laughs> just put it that way. Yeah, you can make it however you like it. Yeah. I, on the other hand, have to tame it down some. All right, while he's chopping those up, I'm going to take some of this cilantro and just peel off some of the leaves. Because we don't want all the stems in there. It's not really the right knife. 
Here, this one will cut really good. I know it's got flowers on it. Don't look at it. <laughs> Don't look at the flowers. Fine. All right. I think we got enough there. All right. Now I'm just going to put the knife through the cilantro just a little bit. Break it up. Let me know how it's looking. Looking good. I can use another sprig though. You want to put another sprig in there? I love cilantro. And just like most of your herbs and spices, cilantro is good for you. Alright. We're going to put that in. Yep. That's perfect. Oh, it's looking good in there, y'all. Alright. Alright. Next, we're going to finish this off with a few more ingredients. And then we're going to mix it all up. The last things to go in are going to be... You're going to take care of the salt and the pepper and the lime yep. as soon as I get this garlic bulb broke out here. So I'm just going to smash it. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Wow. We won't pretend that happened. <laughs> well, you definitely smashed it. I did smash it. Yeah, right. You definitely did. Alright, so I'm going to take the two that I got here and just kind of break them up a little bit. And we'll cut this into pieces fit into the garlic press. I'm going to open it up. All right, we can fit in there. One more, baby. One more. All right. Yep. I'm going to put that one while I get this one cut up. You're going to put it directly in there. That's pretty big garlic, huh? Yeah. Do you think we need both of them? I don't think so. These are pretty big cloves <laughs> here, so I think we'll just stick <laughs> with the one. I'm going to put another one in there. Mm. All right. I'm gonna go find all the garlic before my dog does. <laughs> isn't, I'll that be right why we, back. isn't that why we have kids? <laughs> Alright, I got all the garlic picked up before our dog figured out that there was garlic on the floor. Mm, smells good. <laughs> smells real good. Alright. Yeah, so stuff out of the way. What's left? We got salt. Some salt. And you gotta need to put a fair amount in there. Some pepper. Oh, that's looking good. Now, the lime juice can go in last, and it's just to keep things from turning brown on you. Handy dandy little lime squeezer. There's a lemon and a lime squeezer in there. All right, I got to use my wife's uh, fancy dancy mixer here. Uh, spurtle. Alright, so I'm just mixing in the lime juice, like I said, to keep everything nice and green. Alright, so everything's mixed up rather nicely. Uh, I think it's time to try it. It is time to try it. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Alright. First thing I'm going to do is make sure it's good with seasoning. Yeah. Oh man, that's good. Alright, so I have some long board tortilla chips that he's going to use to try that with. Chunky guacamole. Mm. That smells mm. good. Oh, that smells good. That is good. It's really good. All right, y'all. There you go. How to make homemade guacamole by Thomas and I. <laughs> Y'all, make sure you comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Share this recipe, y'all. It's also on my blog, www.catherinesplates.com. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter. I'm mm -hmm. out there. Facebook. Y'all, go find me. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode. Bye.